Hello, and I would like to perform a problem which notes electrical energy use, say what you pay from a electric company or your power company, and they charge you for the energy that you use, so depending upon the power rating of your electronic devices and the time over which you leave them on, power times time is energy. So let's perform this calculation. Suppose we pay 12.50 cents per kilowatt hour. So I think that would be cost per time, or sorry, cost per energy, <laughs> cost per energy usage would be 12.50 cents for every one kilowatt hour. Now, by the way, a kilowatt hour, that's power times time, so that's a unit of energy. What would I pay if I left a 60-watt light bulb on all the time for 30.0 days? Well, let's figure out how many kilowatt hours that is in terms of energy. So first of all, the power is a 60-watt bulb. Let's go ahead and get that in kilowatts. Let's go from watts to kilowatts. Now, what we could say is that there's 10 to the minus 3 kilowatts per watt, but I think more easily said, one of the big ones, one kilowatt hour, is a thousand of the small ones, thousand watts. So we need to divide this by a thousand, which is dividing by 10 to the third. That's the same thing as moving the decimal place, one, two, three to the left. So that's exactly 0 0.060 kilowatts. Okay, let's do the same sort of thing for time, but the time is in days. So this is 30 days, and let's go from days to hours. So days and then hours. Well, we know that um, there should be 24 hours in one day. Okay, in fact, if we want to, we can even just call this exactly one day. All right, fine. So we need to take 30 multiplied by 24. So let's in fact do that. Let's go out of scientific mode. So this is 30 times 24. Whoops, 24. There we go. Let's write that down. It's 720. 720 hours. Okay, so now let's get the energy used by running this bulb, 60 watt bulb, for 30 days. So that's going to be power times time. The rate at which energy is used times the time over which the energy used it for. So that's going to be the multiplication of these two numbers. 0 0.060 kilowatts times 720 hours. Okay, so let's get this number. So we need 0 0.060. Now we don't need to include the final zero. Significant digits don't enter into the calculator. Times 720. Okay, so we have 43.2 kilowatt hours. So let's write this down. 43.2 kilowatt hours. And then finally, we know it costs this much, cost per energy, here we have energy. So cost should equal the cost per energy times energy. That's 12.50 cents per one kilowatt hour times 43.2 kilowatt hours and that should give us the cost in cents. So let's calculate this number. So we need 12.5 multiplied by 40, 43.2. Okay, so that's 540 cents.
So 540 cents. Now 540 cents, we often don't leave cents in the United States. There's 100 cents in a dollar, one US dollar. So it's gonna be five dollars and 40 cents. All right, and that's again in US dollars. Okay, so that ends this problem. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope that made sense. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this content. And please subscribe to the channel to grow the channel. Please share this with your sphere of influence. And thank you for your attention. I will see you in the next video.